Yo, everybody. Deku versus Asta. Death battle. Before we even get into it, Asta wipes, right? Asta, Asta wipes. If Deku wins, I, I've avoided any talk about this. It's been about three days. I, I refuse to look at anything. I've muted Death Battle. I've muted Deku. I've muted Asta, my hero, Black Clover, everything. Because if if you don't know Deku's... That is true. I Bro, guts when he feels even 1% of Deku's pain. Ah! You know? Because it, it's crazy. It's fucking crazy. Um, but if Deku somehow wins, then Death Battle is genuinely rigged. Th it will be my last straw. For the most part, I do defend Death Battle. But... I don't know, bro. This episode of Death Battle is sponsored by Mint Mobile and Better Health. I guess we can watch the intros, Death even though I already know them. Academia super student, straight out of UA High. Asta, the anti-magical ass kicker from Black Clover. Though you may be born bereft of the same gifts as your peers, there is nothing stopping you from achieving your dreams. As long as you're a fictional character in a fantasy world. <laughs> uh, I mean, as long as you've got your friends by your side, you'll pack a hell of a punch. He's Wiz and I'm Boomstick. And it's our job to analyze their weapons, armor, and skills to find out who would win a death battle. Izuku Midoriya wanted only one thing from life to be a um actually it's Izuku not Izuku get a fucking right bro of hope, just like I actually don't know I, I could his be wrong. idol the number one ranked superhero in Japan the go too bad he was born a freak with no powers you heard right this is okay like I won't lie I actually like Deku's character a lot um yeah yeah that's my hot take right there thing where 80% of the population gets red superpowers or quirks as they're called while the remaining fifth are stuck as basic bitches or as his spiky haired bully Bakugo called him Deku that's a pun on the Japanese word Dekunobu meaning good for nothing persevering despite his basic bitchedness Midoriya got the chance to prove his okay Quirkless heroic metal against this giant sludge monster. Oh, wait, let me do this. The surprise of one particular almighty onlooker. His body secretly decaying from a horrific injury, All Might needed to find the one who would inherit his all powerful quirk. And All Might didn't want just anybody. The hero world was filled with glory seekers in it for fame and money. All Might wanted someone whose body moved on its own to save someone. He saw exactly that in young Midoriya and gave him one of the most powerful quirks in the world, one for all. That was the problem. Even after bulking up from lad to chad. Yeah, even with my problems with my hero, now that I'm kind of like getting rehashed on the, the, like the start, it's kind of making me like hype for when I like first watched it and then read it. Shit was pretty busting back then. On its own to save someone. He saw exactly that in young Midoriya and gave him one of the most powerful quirks in the world, one for all. That was the problem. Even after bulking up from lad to one chad, bitches for everybody. One punch would That's just a prostitute. So he trained to be not really a quirk. His gift at the superhero school of his dreams, UA High. Why is this and fucking OST hidden? To own the name used as a cudgel against him for so many years. Turns out Deku can also be an abbreviation for Dekuru, someone who can do anything. Exactly the opposite of Deku Nobu. One for all I didn't even know that. To release absolutely absurd amounts of strength from different parts of his body with super Okay, so Deku. they okay, I, I was wondering if are they going manga or not. So if they're going this far. Oh wait, no shit, the anime's here now, aren't they? Oh fuck. Are they? Oh shit, how far is the anime? Are they in, they're in the war, huh? Oh shit. Oh shit. I, I still hope they're doing the manga. Cause I want I want Deku to have his manga I mean not manga not that uh, not Deku. Asta. <laughs> After U.S. cities and states, Deku still can't access. God damn it! Jump Force could have been so good if they gave up. Hundred percent will quickly destroy. Also play that shit though. Which is why he learned to distribute his strength evenly across his body, a technique known as full cowling. This lets him increase his speed and durability as well, making him more all-rounded and shifting focus. I don't know if this is the first one or the second one, but I did I did like the the My Hero fighting game. That was kind of cool. All inspired by his pal Ida, shoot style, where he pulls out a Glock and blows your brains out. Okay, not really, but in keeping with One for All's rabbit theme, he trades All Might's signature punch. Imagine they just do the battle at uh, the end of fucking Jump better. Force. You ever, you ever seen Rabbit versus Gun? I have, and I know how it plays. Yo! Considering the much higher muscle mass of a human's legs, shoot style allowed Deku to output even more power while giving his arms a break. 
Just go to the gym and lift, bro. And despite being a classic melee build, Deku can fight at range by punching powerful gusts of air and even precisely aim them with specially designed gloves. Deku has an encyclopedic knowledge of quirks and is always analyzing their strengths and weaknesses mid-battle, even if he does sound a little weird. Despite only barely getting accepted in the first place, Deku quickly became one of Class 1A's most dependable fighters. Because, yeah, somehow these students are constantly getting drafted into literal wars against murderous supervillains. Midoriya's oh, yeah. successes in battle against ruthless criminals like Stain, Ooh, Muscular, Stain. and Overhaul came much to his old bully's chagrin. Where Bakugo was a child prodigy, he now found himself overshadowed Love by Bakugo. his hardworking rival. And the two would use their mutual respect and animosity to That's my favorite ship right there, baby! Let's fucking go! Yeah! They're only solving their problems by pounding the living tar out of each other. Luckily for him, Deku soon learned that living tar pounding wasn't the only thing he could do. Turns out, One For All did not originate with All Might. It had been passed down eight times until it arrived at Deku. With yeah, they, sh they should probably put a spoiler warning. I mean, it's, it's fucking death battle. If you watch a death... I would never watch a death battle of someone that I didn't fucking know already. Inheritance also carrying the previous user's natural quirk as well. Like Black Whip, which lets him manifest crazy long and strong energy tendrils to tie enemies up and swing around the city. Or shoot one out of his yeah, mouth. Yeah, Black Whip is dope like as fuck. Frappy. And Danger Sense, which gives him a minor reactive Sp recognition. Spider AKA, Sense. AKA, he's Spider-Man. Not even a reach, the mangaka is like the biggest Spidey fan ever. He can also produce a smoke screen to mask his presence, float in midair, or store up kinetic energy over time with Fa Jin. Oh. No. 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 Like that. By storing up enough, he can even match. Okay. All Might's max power without any recoil to boot. Strong enough to change the weather and create city block sized tornadoes with a single punch. And he's even stronger with his newest quirk, Gear Shift, which allows him to increase. Okay, the Gear speed Shift is kind of dope as fuck. He touches it. In conjunction with the power of all for one, he can use this to warp reality itself. Deku can go to- I just like powers, bro. That's part of the reason why I do like my hero. Like, I don't really care about power. I, I do care about power scaling somewhat, but I like cool-ass powers. Toe-to-toe <laughs> -to -toe with arch villains like Shigaraki, who's fast enough to react to and catch laser beams with his bare hands. But nothing could prepare him for All Might's arch enemy, the shadowy leader of the League of Villains, all for one. All Might only ever showed his young pupil kindness and support, but that couldn't change the absolutely crushing pressure. Ooh, that's, that's fire! Every moment. That's fire! Best, 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 the best Deku, best Deku right here. He trained dickhead Bakugo came to help his teammate out when he needed it, like when they teamed up to share one for all. Wait, no! Island size hole Wait, is that canon? Is that movie canon? I don't think it is. Is it? I don't know. But that's crazy if they're using movie feats. That's fucking crazy. Two dozen miles high. Just We're using movie feats? One for all isn't a one -man arm. Black Clover's movie hasn't even come out yet! ...comes from his teamwork between himself and his friends. And with their help, Deku will surely become that beacon of hope he dreamt about as a child. One hero for all mankind. Okay. Okay. Oh, shut the fuck up. Uh, shout out Mint Mobile, but we want to we want to get into the goat, the fucking goat. Fifteen bucks a month at mintmobile.com/deathbattle. Oh! I thought they're gonna introduce Deku a bit faster. Doesn't come from a box you bought at a tacky West Hollywood costume shop. Everyone's got it. Mana is Noel, my wife. Magic, Hello. A supernatural energy found What's in up, Zan? And in living beings. Except living beings whose names are... My awesome. fucking goat right there! Yeah, that's what I'm fucking talking about! That's why he's the goats! The goats! He was born with a mutation that prevents him from having any mana to speak of. Well, neither do I, and you don't hear me crying about it. How is yes, home? do all of the time. But Asta had a dream. Despite his lack of magic, he and his best friend Yuno promised each other one of them would rise to the throne of the greatest military position in the land, the Wizard King. Wizard King? Really, guys? Sometimes they call it Magic Emperor, but we all know what they mean. That's kind of a shit joke. Um, I mean, yeah, if anything, you could have made the Hokage joke. It's kind of doesn't make sense, but all right.
Okay, I don't give a shit if, if Black Clover had... Because B- Black Clover kind of borrows from a lot of shonens, but I think it does it pretty well. So I don't care about the... the it's still from this accusations. So he dedicated himself to getting swole as all hell. That's my boy. In a world of nerds, he would be its lone jock god, shoving every last wizard into a locker until they crowned him king. But huge frightening pectorals on a tiny screaming goblin child weren't enough on its own. He needed something powerful enough to shut down his opponent's magic. He needed the five-leaf clover grimoire. Essentially a book of spells, a grimoire will choose its user and float beside their wielder at all times. And Asta was lucky enough to receive the Una reverse card of grimoires. The five-leaf clover can harness the power of anti-magic, which will literally oh, yeah. nullify the effects of other magic spells. Now I'm assuming, well it's not like Deku uses anything kind of like magic-y, but I'm assuming they will make it be like, well, anti-magic doesn't matter to Deku because he doesn't fucking use magic. Bells, almost like wizard kryptonite. Let the locker stuffing commence. <laughs> Get f***ed, nerds. It Ooh, but Asta has key. Or like he could sense it. Asta, Asta has a lot of shit. I don't see him losing. Long before Asta was accepted into one of the nine squads of Clover Kingdom's Three magic swords, knights, the Black Bull. Lots of hacks. Filled with lazy drunkards, antisocial otakus, and literal sociopaths. My kind of people. If mostly but much like with asta you shouldn't judge a grimoire by its cover and soon they were all working together and kicking ass like a family should asta harnesses the power of anti-magic by summoning swords imbued with it from the grimoire normally these swords would quickly drain the mana from anyone foolish enough to wield them but asta does not have any mana turning his greatest weakness into a -a one-of-a-kind strength He's got his classic Demon Slayer, an enormous greatsword which cuts through spells with its edge. I swear, if they make a Demon Slayer joke, I'm gonna be pissed. Or the Demon Dweller, Uh, which can (laughs) also absorb and copy magic, then toss it right back to sender. I think my personal favorite is the more complex Demon Destroyer, which severs the relationship between a spell's cause and effect, countering the effects of Bro, his swords are dope. This could result in anything from healing a village that was inflicted with poison to preventing reincarnation. Yeah, okay, some of these can get a little heady. I personally prefer keeping it simple, like using anti-magic telekinesis to surf on your sword through the sky. True. It's worth noting that these swords are made specifically for countering magical attacks and sources of mana. The swords will act as though blunted when striking non-magical foes, more akin to giant clubs than actual blades. Not entirely inconsistent with real life. I'm sure you can still but stab someone with it though. To as cool as his deadliest sword, or that the one. <laughs> Demon Slasher, a katana as black as the pits of hell and twice as badass. This one actually does cut like a sword, but it's say. complicated. It lets Asta actually select what he does and does not want to cut, only affecting his target while leaving anything else unharmed. Okay, at this point, isn't that just magic? Uh, magic with a loophole. And he studied the blade. That's anti-magic in general. A master swordsman to boot, not in the real life sense, in the anime sense. He can spin himself like a tornado to deflect magic spells, thrust forward at top speed like a charging bull, launch a barrage of anti-magic projectiles, and even channel anti-magic into his swords to vastly increase. Still their the size. craziest fucking yeah, thing I've ever seen, bro. Just no made of the skyscraper. He has learned to detect key because of course the life force existing in all things Asta can detect hidden opponents and even predict their movements ahead of time as long as he's fast enough to react with such crazy powers Asta was taken on threats like the eye of the midnight sun the devil Zagrid and the dark triad so many nerds never enough lockers too bad for Asta though he had one serious inner demon literally Housed within the Five Leaf Clover Grimoire was Leah Bay, my boy! Exiled from hell for completely lacking magical powers, and who just so happened to get adopted by Asta's mother. Until he got possessed by a different demon and killed her. Vowing vengeance on all demon kind, Leva manifested anti magic from his hatred as a way to kick their asses. Which gave him an That's kind of cold, just like, I need to beat him. The whole, you know, Let me become the opposite. Thing. In fact, the two became true brothers and formed an unstoppable duo. Leba can actually fully merge with Asta for a massive power boost that lasts up to five minutes, at the cost of leaving Asta nearly powerless for the next half hour. No way that's how they make him lose. He runs out of it, and then Deku kills him. I, I, I'm I, predicting my hero wins. I want Black Clover to win, though, and I think Black Clover should win. Or, or Asta. Why am I saying it like it's the series going against each other? I mean, I'll take it if I get to be strong enough to slice buildings to pieces. Obliterate huge chunks of earth and tear the most powerful demons apart. Give me the goddamn book. I'm the book boy, okay? 
Even characters earlier in the series like Patoli had magic capable of completely vaporizing the Patoli? entire Clover Kingdom in a single attack. Yeah, not just pa and Patri. demons that also has fought since then like Dante and Lucifero are league stronger. Hell, screw all these demon forms and anti-magic powers. Asta's body. Beat Libia with only one arm, so I... Defeated Vermilion. You sure you weren't watching uh, or reading Brown Clover? When did he defeat Vermilion? That's the homie. Uh, I don't, I, I, I don't think I remember that. I'm not gonna lie, I don't think I remember that. Hell, screw all these demon forms. Am I wrong? Anti-magic powers. Asta's body is so incredibly well trained. He dodged a beam of light while sleeping, as in he was asleep. And the force of his sneeze pushed his head out of the way of a beam of light. Light speed sneezes, everyone. And despite his headstrong and irritating personality, aka screaming at the top of his lungs as often as possible. I don't think that's bad as people made that to be. He leveraged his skill against far more experienced foes. But he wouldn't be anywhere without the ragtag band of deviants he calls friends. With them at his side, there's no way he won't climb the ranks to take the Wizard King's throne. Especially with Yuno pushing them both to get stronger. Unlike other classic shonen rivalries, this one isn't tainted by antagonism. They truly want what's best for each other, even if they're Which is why it's peak. Throne. Yuno's gonna need all the luck he can get, because even if Asta never gets mana of his own, his true... Okay, wait, 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 why are they downplaying my boy Yuno like that? Like, you know, he got hacks too. Is never given Bring up. that star magic. All right, this is what we're here for. Oh yes, shit. So Shut the fuck up. I'm just kidding. W ad, W ad, but we, we, we gotta, we gotta, we gotta, we gotta get into it. God damn it, Lutter. Okay. That's better H E L P dot com. If Deku wins, I'm ending the stream. I'm gonna be so mad. All right, the combatants are set. We've run the data through all possibilities. Let me move myself. It's time for a death battle! Give it up for 26th World Marshal. Sword that big? He's got to be crazy strong. I'm going to have to rely on more than just my power to take him down. Deku! And the Black Bull. And Knight, I'm done! I like that there. Really hard. True. No way. Man, this guy can give even luck a run for his money. Okay. Okay. I knew they were just building that crew up to get his ass beat. That's what I'm talking about. Heart sword's supposed to be sharp. Heart sword's supposed to be sharp. His speed isn't slow by his sword's weight at all. Gotta hamper his movements and get that book out of his hands. Huh? He found me! Me! Oh, but Deku's got 30 other quirks. Wait! Oh shit! Wait, wait, wait! Wait, let me pause! He's three swords styling it! Holy shit! Oh no. Oh no. Wait! Are you not using magic? What kind of magic emperor would I be if I can't beat a guy like this? Detroit You could have said Wizard King. You could have said Wizard King. We got we it's the same thing, bro. What kind of magic emperor would I be if I can't beat a guy like this? Detroit Smash! No! Huh. Oh fuck. Okay, your boy's lost the sword, but he's got one more. Oh no! Can't go out soft like this. No fucking way! Yeah, buddy. Yeah. B 
beat his ass! Oh fuck no, Decky's about to go off. Oh shit. Ain't no way, no! No way Decky fucking wins! No way! Oh shit. I don't know who's gonna win. They're setting this up to where it feels like either of them could win. Shit! Yo! Detroit. <laughs> My go. Yo! Yo! He tried his best, but Austin just into that great big locker in the sky. Both Deku and Asta were fairly evenly matched. No, shut the fuck fighters, up. No, they weren't. Any specific abilities to give oh. one an easy edge over the other. Though, to be fair... The really? The one that's been training his entire life compared to the one that trained just in, like, high school? You, you don't think one has a little bit of an advantage? ...were fairly evenly matched melee fighters without any specific abilities to give one an easy edge over the other. Though, to be fair, the variety of quirks Deku inherited from past users of One for All did make him more versatile and unpredictable. Plus, quirks are biological mutations not connected to some supernatural energy source like mana, so Asta's anti-magic powers were basically useless here. And Deku was generally a smarter and more tactical fighter, but against Asta's incredible might, this time, Brawn beat Brains. Let's crunch some numbers! Deku's greatest feat of strength was... Damn, bro! Deku got movie! He got movie... Uh, what's the word? Movie feats and still lost. That's crazy. By measuring the size of the island and comparing it to the clouds above, we can determine they dispersed over 63 trillion kilograms. They said, bro, we gotta make Deku stronger. We can't even go to the manga. We gotta go to the movie. 12,000 of them. And required an energy of nearly 80 teratons of TNT per punch. Let's compare that. Although to this Asta, shit is dope. But Tolly's spell was going to be strong enough to vaporize a country the size of the Clover Kingdom. We can use this map from the manga to estimate the size of Clover Kingdom to be about 500 kilometers in diameter, about half the length of Great Britain. Vaporizing a country of that size would require an energy of over 480 teratons of TNT, over six times greater than Deku's punch. While Asta uses anti-magic, it isn't an automatic counter. It needs to be comparable in strength to the spell it's combating. And Asta's gotten way stronger since. Asta was also quicker. Sure, scaling to Shigaraki would give Deku roughly light speed reaction time. But Asta could dodge light in his sleep. And that's his base <laughs> form. Even I love how a, a, what was probably a gag is just actually used. I don't remember this part. And that's his little base form. Thing, to be Even honest. before transforming with Leva to get way faster. And since Deku and Asta's precognitive abilities more or less matched each other, it was only a matter of time before Asta simply overwhelmed him. Especially since Deku has struggled in the past against faster opponents. Sure, Deku was smarter, but if he literally didn't have enough time to come up with a plan of attack before getting hammered, his brains were wasted. Deku's tactical brilliance and harem scarum tenacity definitely gave his opponent a run for his money. But Asta's raw power, blinding speed, and deadlier weaponry spelled Damn. the end for All Might's pupil. Deku gave it his all, and I wish he had won. Asta la vista. The winner is Asta. Damn, bro, that's the. That's like the first death from Black Clover. I'm kidding. I'm kidding. <laughs> oh, that was a cool battle, though. I, I I enjoyed that one quite a bit. Heck yeah. I'm I'm probably gonna start reacting to more death battles if it's uh, a matchup that I really care about. This one, I was quite passionate about, <laughs> cause I I knew Asta had to win, and he did. So yeah, shout out. Death.